Zdravo svima, dobro jutro. Šta ima, šta se radili? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we went to Italy. <coughs> so we went to Italy. Yeah, people are asking why I don't bring the family. This is the planned one. I don't do have vacation leave anymore. But anyway, so people are asking, you went to Italy, you never eat Italian food. I would never eat Asian. We did. We eat Italian food. We went to the very famous restaurant. They even have a branch because they're so famous, like overly known in social media, like known. And then, uh, so my friend, me and Marlet, uh, we ordered the famous one. Uh, Marlet ordered the carbonara and I ordered the matriciano. Yeah, the one with the tomato sauce and Marlet had the one with the egg and uh, cheese sauce. That's the carbonara there. You don't have cream in your carbonara. But anyway, we ordered it because that was famous. Marlet even ordered the other one, the pocos, poco, choco, something like that. But the guy said, the waiter said, it's a bit salty. So I suggest don't order that. And so that's why she ordered carbonara. Oh my God. I don't know what's the fuss with everything in this. It's too salty. Like, it's way salty. Marlette's carbonara is too salty because of the bits of the bacons and she could not even finish it. I tried my best to finish mine because it's a bit um, sour side because of the tomato sauce. I just finished the... Uh, we just finished the pasta. The homemade pasta. We just finished it because this restaurant is known for the homemade pasta that's being made there. In the restaurant where you can see it you'll you'll see later in the video it was so salty i mean come on and it cost 17 euros and maybe their taste bud is salty because right next to us are italians and they ordered almost same food as ours and finish it so i guess the italian food are into the saltier side because of so many preserved meats preserved pork yeah uh, majority of the food they are pork Anyway, but it's so salty. You will see. So this is a very famous restaurant, a very known one all over the social media. You will see the name. I'm not going to mention it, but you will see it there. But unfortunately, we're not obsessed with it. We're not. It's too salty. So we we're like, let's go back to our Asian food. Because anyway, Bosnia doesn't have an authentic Korean, Chinese, Asian food here. So might as well as enjoy it. So that's why that's the reason but yeah we tried the sandwiches are good their sandwiches are good but some of it are salty also because of the cured meat but damn their sandwiches are so nice the cannoli are tasty the bocetta is tasty the sandwich are tasty they're good really good the bread are good like that but this first pasta that we eat it's too salty for us and then so our last trip our last day tour we went to another restaurant that is not is like a food fast food a pasta restaurant and we went there and it's much better it's cheaper it's way it's tastier so, but you will see that later on so anyway this is all about that food that we went to that restaurant watch it you will be surprised you're just faking it that you like it <laughs> but it's not it's too salty <laughs> We are here at Osteria da Fortunata. Um, this is a famous uh, handmade uh, pasta here, right? The do it the make the pasta right next to the restaurant and we walk for a while to get to this restaurant so we're hungry yes. so yeah it's lunch time here we are ordering i'm ordering cacio pepe 17 euros their menu is in italian Mm -hmm. 
English. Eh, paano ito malaman? Say ba English? It's okay. Kapag ano daw, ang menu is ganito. They are, ano, authentic. Picture mo na kita mo. Video ya. video yan. Marlet is eating no her carbonara. Carbonara. <laughs> mas masarap ka, mas masarap pang luto mo. It's okay. <laughs> salty. Ah, salty nga. Ito din salty din. Kahit naman pangit. Hmm? Kahit naman ulang lasa, hindi ka na pwede magsabi yung iba. <laughs> Kasi kakahiya eh. Kasi ang daming bacon, sobrang alat. <laughs> <laughs> 